this is Manish Pandey welcome back today in this tutorial we are going to learn how to add pictures in MS Word in UI path so this is not that just basic but it can help you in advanced work you can add the screenshot in your MS Word file you can add logo you can add pictures in your Word document so don't think that it's a basic thing it will help in advance also so it depends on your work if you are working in any company and you are getting that type of scenario then this video this tutorial will help you to work on that so let me start here let me open UiPath studio and show you one by one so here you can see let me show you the project folder and here I have taken a two three logo you know one logo and one uh, jpg file here one jpg and png file and if I want to add this logo in my word document then how can I do that if I want to uh, you know add this screenshot in my word that then how can I do that if I want to add this picture you can see then how can I do that so I have just you know one the sample word document I am going to show you how to do that so here in UiPath studio to insert picture or you can say to add pictures in word document you should you know look for the word package right because you need activities for that and activity you can found here if you have you know the word package installed in your UiPath studio so for that you have to go to the all packages here you have to search UiPath dot word you can see you can just click on install and save that so once you will save it will add all this word activities in your UiPath studio here yeah now you can see go to the activities and let's say if you want to add picture so what you have to write you know this is just an activity to add the picture in the MS Word so what you will write you will write here add picture right so you can see here in app integration in Word I am getting this add picture activity and what is the use of that it is used to adds a picture at the end of a specified word documents so here I'm just going to show you that and basically while using this activity you know you have to use the word application scope because I have already told you about the difference between word activities and word document activities so you can see if I am writing here add picture so I'm getting only one activity as a part of word so you know this activity can be used inside a word application scope so let me drag and drop here and now you can see here in the word application scope I need to you know pass that word path here so select that open here now we are ready to use that add picture now just take here drag and drop here and here we have option picture to insert so if you want to insert the picture we need to pass the path of that including that image name so if I'm going here if I need to insert this laptop dot uh, jpg so just copy this so why I'm just copying this you know laptop dot jpg name because this image is kept inside my project folder so there is no need to you know pass the complete path just need to write down that file name right now if you see here in the properties we just need to pass the input there is no other you know parameters we need to pass here and here in the word document also we just need to pass the file path that is DOCX file now just run this but sometimes what happens whenever we run this uh, project this word related you know project then sometimes you know it takes time to you know you know run that project and open that word file and paste here so sometime before you know working on that you can just open any word document so that you know it will understand that you have word installed right so what you can do now you can just run this control f5 now you'll see it will you know open that word document and insert that here you have seen here live 
that is it has opened that word document and inserted that laptop png jpg file right so by this way you can insert picture now let me delete that save that and close that now if i need to insert all this images then how can i do that so basically here we want to insert multiple picture in word document so basically you don't have to do any special thing here you just have to take three activities for this add picture because we are going to insert three picture so we'll take one more add picture one more add picture now just take that you know laptop.jpg now i need to insert this uh, this one so control a copy so always use here you know that file extension otherwise you will get an error now here we have a logo control a copy and now paste here right now we are ready to run that so control f5 just wait and watch it will open that word document and it will insert all these pictures in one word file you can see here i am going to open this here you can see uh, first time it has inserted this picture laptop and now after that this the skin sort and after that it has inserted this uipad hp logo right now let me delete this save this and close this now if you want to add picture after the you know like we say uh, thanks and my name like you know thanks and regard, regard something and then you know in the next line we write manish pandey or like that and then i want to add my company logo right so how can i do that so basically first i want to insert a picture of this need training dot png so i'm going to delete that here okay i'm going to delete that and before this logo i want to write something here so what i'm going to use here append sorry append text and i'm going to use this append text as a part of word because here i'm going to use uh, the same word file so let me take this inside the word here after knee training i want to write here one thing just click on this and i want to write regards enter manish pande enter i want to write like this ui path hard and i can take you know enter one more here so that after this it will insert that image that logo so after this you know after this training image i am going to put this regards and then i'm i'm going to insert this logo here now you can just run here control f5 and you can see first it will insert that that picture of training and then it will write that steps here like oh, what i have a text i have written that is regards and manish pande ui path rpa you can see here and that is just you know the formatting issue there's no there's no pro problem right and after that i'm putting my company logo that is you know ui path rpa right so you can do that here also and let's say if i already have this written here let me show you i already have these things written and now i want to you know insert the logo of that company how can i do that so let me just save and close that and i want my logo inserted after this ui path rpa as a company logo so now let me close this go here and i don't want to use this activity and also i don't want to use that i just want to insert the picture at the last of this word so you can see here uh, i have already this text and i want to add the picture after this so let me close this and you can see here this activity will insert the picture at the end so let let me run this control f5 so now you can see here the image that logo has been inserted in the ms word file you can see the logo has been inserted after this regards 
barviyaj right now what i am going to tell you here show you that if that image is not inside the project folder then how can you insert that so let's say this laptop dot jpg is stored in my you know picture folder here now what you have to do you have to take this picture slash this one so you just have to copy this thing right because this is inside your project folder and inside that project folder we have another project uh, another folder that is picture so that's why it will just go inside the project folder and it will look for this project uh, that folder and then it will you know take that screenshot from here and insert to that you will see here right you can see here that image has been inserted to the word document right so you can see it's working fine here with the project folder and now if you want to you know insert take the picture from outside the project folder like uh, keep the same thing so what you can do here you can just use the same the complete path which is showing here so you just have to take this from the complete uh, C drive, D drive, everything is there. You just have to copy that. Let me uh, save that, close that. And now you have to, you know, pass the complete path of that file so that it can access that path. Now let me run this control F5. Yeah, so you can see here it has inserted the picture in this DOCX file can see right so i hope you like this video thank you so much friends thank you for watching this video